right toward the end of the lunch I had, which mother prepared with very, very seldomly, maybe once per month, twice per month, I doubt it. I ate this probably about four times since 2020. Five times, let's say. Five times since 2020 that she prepared this. Uh, and it was done twice, probably this. Probably the whole thing was probably done in 2023, I would say, 2022 and 2023 with three rations of what you see here within the last two months, maybe something like this. She comes out. She also prepared the potato and she comes out like a boss. According to MK Ultra scenario, you're probably even going to go and hide from eating my food. This is what I was told during MK Ultra is going to be. During MK Ultra, they intimidated with the food. At Budapest, in a hostel where I was, they intimidated with the Snickers, which I purchased myself to eat, uh, cookies, and what was also a normal food. Uh, 2017, I escaped to Budapest, 2016-2017, to Budapest, um, to file for political asylum, and uh, they poisoned with the Slovenian police, once they hijacked, they poisoned. And then they subjected me to the torture, food torture. And with the food torture, which it demonstrated me for me to understand clearly, every time, uh, whenever they gave me Snickers and stuff to eat chocolates, uh, they reminded me of how I feel. Basically, the cancer became rampant, which means that they cancerized with something they, they put some kind of poison in the gut that would kill bacteria, uh, totally destroy immune system. And uh, as a result, during MK Ultra, as I recall in this hostel in Budapest, uh, I could hear the same thing, the sound, shh, uh, basically cancer overflowing my body and suggesting me, if you're not going to be good to us, we're going to give you Snickers, we're going to give you chocolates and cookies. Uh, I didn't even know how the fuck to meet. With so many problems, literally escaping from psychiatric hospital, Ljubljana Polia from Slovenia, uh, I did not know how I'm going to go from one day to another searching for the job in Budapest, publishing my blog, hoping, sending complaints to United Nations, Amnesty International, other human rights organizations. I was looking forward to Human Rights Court, Strasbourg, and so on. I will get some assistance, anything. The least ability to stay in Hungary and find myself work lived there. Uh, I was all fucking wrong, man. They were taking more and more and more. Every time they took another piece of me. Torture in this hostel, just as through the Hungary and other locations delivered to the Russia, Germany, United States, Slovenia, 
when unobstructed when on well at least i know that it was the guts very 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 effective uh they destroy you guts they poison you and then they release you basically and then if you don't eat i'm not gonna say a perfect food uh, it destroys, it destabilizes your entire body. It's enough that you don't eat perfect food to get you killed systematically because you don't know what it is. And this is what it was based since 1995. It appears to me they were using poison, they poisoned guts to the degree that it would. It would kill, literally. And prior to releasing me back, they were also using a vitamin supplements, special vitamin supplements they would feed me with to re-establish equilibrium in the guts. But this became, <clears throat> over the course of the time, damaged due to all other factors they accomplished through the poisoning. To a degree that became questionable even if uh, I could survive. And I did because I have a very strong gut. I have very strong body overall. Abnormally strong actually because in Poland I was saving the money literally by eating garbage. Total garbage. <clears throat> and it didn't kill me at their disappointment. So mother comes here and uh, she wants the recognition for the food, which ultimately would be my actually even feeling intimidated at a, at a table. And according to what she stated in MK Ultra, I would place this back here and go away from here. But that didn't happen. Uh, she occupies then this area here. She does not wash the dishes at all anymore. I wash the dishes, I clean this space area here, um, which is fine, okay, but I'm preparing myself also coffee just as she prepared herself a coffee. And she starts to hear, knowing that I'm gonna, that the water is boiling, that I'm gonna add some more. And she wants this recognition for the food. She wants to be seen as a, uh, you know, without me, as they insisted me that in MK Ultra, mother is going to stay on the picture just as long so that you, she's going to prepare the food for you uh, and you're not going to die. Because obviously they rated me like an imbecile. Uh, I told her. Let me get the water so that I can take care of this. Uh, and then I ask her, so why are you doing this stuff? Why are you washing this stuff at all? It doesn't make any fucking sense that you're washing because you're only doing one thing in this house. You have only done one thing. You have only done damage. She didn't do the damage. She did the killing. It wasn't the damage that she did. She did the killing. I reminded her of this disgusting pool of algae that she still has here. And would not allow me to take care of that, as I did already. I fixed this issue so that it wouldn't be like, so it wouldn't be soaking in a pool of algae. Be all disgusting is doing this. Why the fuck you wash this stuff when you don't even, you still have this disgusting pool here. She didn't get the recognition she wanted to get. She got instead acknowledged in her face today as ultimate disease, as a plague that hunted this place, this house here. She definitely destroyed my life. And I really wanted her to know this. The hostile scumbags in Budapest did two things. They poisoned with the Slovenian police, they rat poisoned during MK Ultra. 
and they presented the food they would get, I don't know, from local restaurants or whatever they would prepare from a markets, they would go buy this meat and prepare themselves food with nothing really to worry about, financially all secured, with both feet on the ground, parting throughout the night in Budapest, with a life of luxury and myself not knowing whether I should jump in a Danube River the next day or what. They wanted to take a credit for preparing that food. They claimed me even that I was alive only because of them. This is nothing else. I eat the garbage. No. The thing is that uh, that's a river right there. It's what I eat my entire life from that river. Till they went so far they took away from me even ability to buy myself a fishing license. I ate nothing other than eggs, fish, salad, apples, what they described as the best, the healthiest food is basically what I ate. I never had problems with being overweight or anything like this. Uh, and I'm truly a proof, basically a living proof of what I stated because there's so much junk I ate when they started to engineer my life so they could have it their way, could only endure a person that would eat from that river right there his entire life and live basically the healthiest lifestyle possible. That was myself. That much about this British violence, about this Britons from London, murderers, hyenas from Berlin, their cousins basically, in Washington DC, which financed this Slovenian brutality here.